Hello my friends, today a review about this police boat. This is a newbie for 2020 from CQ. It can actually float, it has a water cannon, so let's see what it is capable of and if it's any good. First we start with the box. Here you see the logos. It got uh, light, sound, it can float, it shoots water. You can see it here, the water cannon to extinguish the fire. Uh, the lights over here, you've got a picture of the boat, you see the water cannon can go up and down and you have to push on this button to shoot water out of it, I guess, we'll see that later. Okay, so there's one boat and one uh, thing like this, not sure how you call it in English, well, not important, I guess you guys know. In Nederland we say, het is een boei. Uh, here some more pictures. You see some cable. You have some things here you can uh, put underneath the boat. Uh, ah, okay. Interesting. Okay, we got a radar. You can turn it around. Well... Let's not wait any longer. Mm. Oh, this is an important picture. Ah, okay, I see. These things here you can put under the boat and then you can uh, put an electric motor on it. Let's see what it says. Uh, Watermarked, the new CQ World police boat is not only buoyant but can also spray water properly with its cannon. In addition, the police boat can be powered by an adapter with common motor other system toys. Okay, so this motor is not available at CQ. Hmm, okay, that's a little bit of a downside, but let's see what the boat looks like. I think here we got uh, safety information. Careful. Be careful. Yes, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. Let's put it here. Okay. And here we have the buoy. I call it the buoy. Not sure what's the name in English. Here we have those things you can put under the boat, but I believe when I saw on the picture that you have to put it right here. Yes. Let's go a little bit over here. Lower the camera. So here it is looks very nice um, okay let's take this off first is that possible yes you can take this off if you want so oh see what's on the paper I think it's not something from the battery please use only batteries with the designation LR41 okay let's take a look at that uh, this thing on top so you can take it off that is very nice oh, okay this is also for the sound let's see ah that's cool I like that. That's nice. Yes, it stops. Oh, there comes a package. Wait a minute. Check it out, guys. Comes a package. I'm going to open the door. Just a sec. It's going to be so cool. Guys, I'm back. I'm going to show you what was in the package. It has nothing to do with diecast. And 
You can call it the opposite of diecast. Check this out. It's from Lego, the Sesame Street. This is very cool. I'm not into Lego, but this is totally awesome. But uh, somebody with a Lego channel can do the review. I'm not going to do it. Where were we? Yes, the CQ police boat. Is it any good? Let's see, we got this buoy here. Checking the sound. It's pretty good. Lights and sound. Okay, do we have another sound? That sounds very awesome. Now let's start over here. You can make this open and then you have a hook with a rope. You can turn it like this. See, this is how long the rope is. Now you can do it back like this. Okay, put this back. Hamburg, that's a city in uh, Germany. Um, here you can put the water in. You can see it's already red. I already tried it. I'm going to give you a demonstration right away. Uh, you can put this back on. Here you can push this, and then there comes water out here. We got the radar. You can turn it around with your hands. Uh, this feels very strong. Typical CQ toys, very strong. Uh, here you got two holes and I can show you that's for this over here. You can place this underneath and then it's possible to put an electric motor under it. Now, in my opinion, that uh, electric motor should already have in the box, but that is not the case, unfortunately. I have no idea where to buy an electric motor for something like this. So, that's a little bit of a downside. Here you got another one, a different size. Um, there's a rope over here. So you have to do it like this. Whoa, I hear a big engine from a car, but I can't see it. So and you can put the rope over here or something. It is possible. Okay, now let's see. Let's put this back right here. What's here? Now let's see if the boat floats and how it works with the water cannon. Let's go over here, over the package. Here we have another hobby of mine, life in jars. Uh, here let's put the boat right here now let's see if this thing floats uh -oh. yes that's better now let's open up this fluffy yeah you want to come inside okay fluffy wants to come inside come fluffy yeah okay Let's put some water in here. See. Put this thing on here. And then we can shoot the water. The harder you push, let's put it over here. See? It's pretty strong. 
and you can also place it like this. So that's pretty cool, although the sound is not. Now let's see if it can float. Okay, that's a little bit of a big downside. As you can see, it doesn't float horizontal. That is no good. I don't like that. That is not realistic. Let's see if I can... Maybe there is some air under the boat. Let's see if I can make it better. Okay, this is a little bit better. Okay, it's a little bit better, but it still is not horizontal. Now you can see, no, it's not floating horizontal. Okay. I don't like that. It's going like this. That is not okay. That is not, not realistic. I don't like that. So... It's okay if you're not going to use it in the water, but when you buy this boat, and I actually bought it for in the water, for in the bathtub, then I say no, do not buy it. Let's see if this is working. Yes. Okay, it's waterproof. And now the boat is sinking. Okay, let's see if maybe with some water inside, no, no. This is definitely no good. So any good? Well, maybe if you're not using it in the water, yes, but if you're going to use it in the water, it's no good. Um, have to be honest to my viewers. So guys. This is the review, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you next time, bye guys.